Sorry, Dr. Robotnik's really outdone himself this time. <laughs> yeah, this new electro suction plate is gonna stop that hyperactive hedgehog for good. Here, this is perfect. Sonic will be coming any second. Electro suction plate position. And activate it. <laughs> Sonic won't even be able to move his tiniest little toe once he gets stuck in this suction beam. <laughs> I say, isn't that Mobius down there? We must pop in for a visit. No, 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 Prince Sherlock, your vacation is over. We must return home. You're going to be crowned king in just two hours. But I've always wanted to be Mobius. <laughs> it's one of those planets my baby brother wants to blow up so much. <laughs> It'll just be a quick visit to the floor. What can I say? Extraordinary gravity on this planet. Oh, Vic, time out. Hey, Tails, does that map say anything about a UFO crossing here? What's a UFO? That white thing zooming in for a landing. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh, a crash landing. We better check it out, Sprout. Hey, what a jolly good ride! Oh, I like this planet already. No, oh, your princeliness, just look at this mess! Pieces of our spaceship are everywhere! Let's take a little tour, Splog. I want to snap a few photos for the Royal Vacation Scrapbook. What are they? I don't know, but we're never gonna catch Sonic with them blocking the electro suction plate. Whatever you are, if you don't want to get hurt, get off this road right now! Mm. Oh, look! Native Mobius people! <laughs> we said get off the road! Well, looky here, Tails. It's those robotic rejects, Scratch and Grounder, up to no good again. The Hedgehog! You missed, guys. But tell you what, I'll give you another try. Aw, oh, too bad. You lose again. Now you've got to forfeit all the extraterrestrials you've collected so far. But I got a consolation prize for you. An all-expense-paid trip all the way down this thousand-foot cliff. No! <laughs> That'll teach them to treat visitors with a little more respect. Oh, jolly good show. Well done. Is Mobius always this exciting? <laughs> your Highness, you're not paying attention. I am Prince Charnock, soon to be King Charnock of the planet Rumbus. Nice to meet you. My name's Sonic. This is my best bud, Tails. Hi. My liege, I implore you to look at our spaceship. We're in very great danger here. Could the two of you perhaps lead us on a short tour of your marvelous planet? <laughs> I'd be absolutely thrilled. Prince Charnock, unless we think of something right now, your baby brother will blow up this marvelous planet with us still on it. What? Mobius blowing up? Well, don't worry. As long as we're home in two hours for my coronation, no one's going to blow anybody up. And we'll get there on time. Our trusty spaceship is sitting right here. Oh! Fog! Our sisters and pieces! Why didn't you tell me about this? Oh, there must be an easier way for flying a bee but where to live in. Sonic, uh, we're done for. My baby brother legally becomes king if I'm not there for my coronation. And he can blow up Mobius then? Yes, you have the power to do it. What are we going to do? There's only one thing to do, Prince. We gotta ship it in a high gear and get you out of here. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. 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 Good show. How? Oh. Can you repair the ship if you got all the pieces together? 
Oh, yeah. But we'll never be able to gather them all in time. Oh, yeah? Should I guess why they call me Sonic? Unbelievable! There you go. One pile of parts for Prince. Bravo! Reconstitute, Splog! Automatic reconstitution commencing. <laughs> Your princeliness, there are still pieces missing. The cockpit's pressurizing canopy, and oh no, the navigational nose cone with embedded miniaturized steering chip. What? We'll never find Rhombus without it. All right, folks, take a chill pill. There's still loads of time left. Only an hour and 40 minutes now. And we're gonna find him and get you back to Rhombus before you can say, E.T., go home. Are you with me? Yeah! 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 No, no, jolly good. We get to do a mobile after all. <laughs> oh, that hedgehog. You think you're so smart. No, put your nose back on, doofus. Let's get to the electro suction plate and go after him. Keep your eye peeled, gang. I say, these trees are tremendously, smashingly buff. We have nothing like this on Rombo. <gasps> it's called a curly Q tree, Prince. Jolly good! Prince Charnock! And oh, Prince Charnock, we found the cockpit pressurizing canopy. Prince Charnock! I say, this fish is fantastically super! We have nothing like this on Rumble. <gasps> uh, it's called a sunfish, Prince. Jolly good! No scratch! Say bye-bye, Spineball! <laughs> <laughs> it's backwards, you imbecile! Way to go, bro. I really miss my nose. Don't ground her. You and your snout are driving me bonkers. Now shut it back on or I'll do it for you. Just keep your wings off of my nose, bulgy face. Give me that. <laughs> Keep your eyes fine, gang. That nose cone can be anywhere. Oh, well, well, ooh, this certainly looks like fun. <gasps> Only one hour left till the coronation. Wow, it looks like a bunch of dominoes. <laughs> but no nose cone between them. Keep looking, kid. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. <laughs> the navigational nose cone with embedded miniaturized steering chip. All right, Splorgemeister. Yo, Prince. I say, these rocks are remarkable. And you have nothing like it on Rhombus, right? Yes. How do you know? Lucky guess. Here. Jolly good. Now, Grounder, <gasps> and I'm not gonna miss. Huh? I say, what smashing fun this is. I do wish we could stay longer. Well, after you stop your baby brother from blowing us up, come on back. Jolly good idea. Got the nose cone? Hmm. Uh, uh, here it is. Let's race then, Ace. Ooh. Oh, no, you don't, noseless. Here. <laughs> But this isn't my nose. What? I'm telling you, Prince Charnock, this is not the nose cone. <laughs> <laughs>
What is it then? I don't know. Well, our nose cone must still be out there somewhere. And there's only 25 minutes left until the coronation. Oh, we're doomed. Oh, my baby brother is actually going to become king. And huh? Nobius will be blown to pieces. Oh, we're doomed. Wanna bet, Splorge? We're not doomed? Nope. Because I figured out what this is. It's Mr. Always Out of Order's nose. Grounders? Correct, Amundo, kids. The bad bots must have the nose cone. And it's all yours, Hedgehog! <laughs> You'll never move again in your whole life, but it's all yours! <laughs> I'm gonna call Dr. Robotnik and tell him the good news. Uh, I mean good news. Yes, my electro-suction plate is truly a marvel of evil engineering. But nothing will ever compare to my belovedly exquisite egg-o-matic hovercraft. What do you want? I'm on my way, Scratch. <laughs> You're mine now, you glorified porcupine. Oh, I forgot to have it tuned up. Oh, well, I'll do it when I get back. There's the nose cone. Well, Sprout, we're just gonna have to get him to turn it off. What? What? Uh, oh, I can't make out a word you're saying. Ooh. Okay, Splorge. If you think it'll work, it's all right with me. Well, looky here, Grounder. Come for your nose comb, spine ball? Yeah, we were gonna trick you into giving it to us, but we don't need it anymore. You don't need it anymore? Nah. Splorgey here says they can make it back to their planet with Grounder's nose on the spaceship. See ya. My nose? Going to another planet? I'll never see it again! Wait! Wait! Oh, Grounder, wait! It's gotta be a trap! You want it? You can't have it. Keep away. This isn't funny! Before Sonic zips in and grabs the real nose cone. You tank treaded twerp! Now look what you and your stupid schnoz have done!
quick, little bro. Take this and get the gang back to the spaceship. I'll meet you there in a split sec. Okay. We would have had him! We, we would have had Sonic! Oh, well. I was gonna do something really clever and funny, then trash the electro suction plate. But it looks like Scratch and Grounder are already taking care of it. Hmm. I can almost taste that chili dog I'm gonna have after we get the aliens back to rump. <gasps> and I can almost taste those pork rinds I'm going to have now that I have you, Hedgehog. Tails! I wouldn't try it. Unless you'd like to see my zirconium ray turn your favorite box into molecular particles. I'll pass. Excellent choice. I also now possess this nose cone that your alien amigos seem to think is so vastly important. But sir, the prince's baby brother will blow Mobius up unless you give it to us. What kind of idiot do you think I am? I'll answer that. Quiet! Do you really expect me, the infinitely intelligent Dr. Robotnik, to fall for such an obvious trick? Get out of my face! However, since I am uh, such a good egg, I'll let them have their nose cone. But only if you, you supersonic pincushion, give yourself up to me! <laughs> How much time, Florgy? Only 15 minutes! Give him the nose cone, Rotnik, and lock me up. I'll save Mobius if you won't. <laughs> now scram, you slimy space creeps! Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Let's fly, your princeliness. But we can't just leave Sonic and his little friend Tails here like this. My liege, 13 minutes! But they helped us so much, we must help them! Now, I wouldn't be much of a king if I didn't do that! My liege, you helped the most by leaving! Look, there's one more snapshot I need to take! <laughs> I say, this weapon is wonderful! I said, this weapon is wonderful! We've nothing like this on Womble. Do you mind terribly if I snap a photo of it? If that's how you get your jollies, go ahead! Just one little step backward to get the whole thing in the shot. Oh dear, what have I done? Oh, oh. I hate that hedgehog! Thanks for the assist, Prince. Oh, the coronation's in nine minutes! Afterburner, gang! We'll have to go to hyperspeed, but yes! And we'll see you for another visit soon, right? Oh, it's a certainty, old chap. I've got to show you how the pictures turned out. Hmm. Hey, Prince, you never told us. Why does your baby brother hate Mobius so much that he want to blow it up? Oh, no reason, really. He hates eating his vegetables, too. He's only two years old, you know. Huh? huh? Two years old? He really is your baby brother. Chill! Bye! So long! I say, that little Sonic and his friend Tail, Chappie, both jolly good fellows. a great-looking town like that sunfish over there. But I'll never get it sitting under this umbrella. 
Patience, Tails. You'll get your tan the right way. Sunscreen? This'll take all day. The damage caused by one bad sunburn can last the rest of your life. Getting burnt is bad news. Ah! Use sunscreen and don't stay out too long. Your tan may take a little longer, but it's a zillion times...